How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption and today I'm on my jumper account, my low spending jumper account. We're going to be jumping very soon, a lot sooner than I thought we were going to be jumping, but that's okay. I'm going to go over what I've done so far, what I've accomplished, what I'm going to do before jumping, and then what I'm going to do right after I jump. So I'm going to go over that. It's kind of a video, not just to remind myself, but also anybody else in this big jumper group, this awesome jumper group that I'm happy to be a part of, Midnight Madness, or as they call themselves on Discord, the Midnight Family. The link to their Discord is down below. It's not too late to join, guys. You do not have to make a jumper to join a jumper group in the Final Kingdom. You can just start a new account and jump right in. It's not a big deal. Yes, of course, you miss out on quite a few rewards, but you can still do it. It's really not the worst thing in the world to not have a jumper. You're just a little bit behind, but you'll catch up in no time if you're as active as some of the other people in this alliance. So let's get through the intro and jump into what we're going to do. Okay, so where are we with the ever important fog clearing? We're doing pretty good. We're on top of all the high and medium caves that I've been collecting over the time. We'll show you that as well. Now for exploration, I should be above 50% by the time we jump. It's looking like tomorrow, which is Friday, that we will be jumping. It's not as much time as I would have liked. Uh, we're at five days, 18 hours left in my beginner's immigration you get 10 days in total so there could be more time in this kingdom that would help me get further ahead before we jump but it's not the end of the world and i found a good group to go with that's the most important part oh good we got a gatherer coming back so here's my account you'll see i have 27,000 kills we actually had a bit of a war yesterday it was actually really funny to watch it was surprising how it turned out. We had a fight with this PHX alliance who got completely wrecked and it was, I wish I could have recorded and I'm sorry I couldn't, but I was not at home. It was really funny to watch. We had all of our T1 players out there fighting T2 and T3 players. Of course, we would have been completely annihilated, but a fantastic alliance right here. What's these guys' names? Uh, 21 PD came over with their T3 accounts and helped us and they've been nothing but kind they actually gave us first cap rewards on this sanctum of courage which is awesome uh, do I have it in here it's probably under system uh, is it under system or is it probably under alliance uh, and it's probably gone by now uh, we lost it here we go first capture rewards oh no where is does it come? I thought it came in through system, but I guess not. It must have just come in through report, and I am not going to be able to find that now. Oh, never mind. Apparently, I haven't killed as many barbarians as I thought I have. Um, there we go. Got a whole bunch of rewards, which was fantastic. So, this alliance and jumper group knows what they're doing. They've got things down packed. It's fantastic to see. Uh, it's really going to help. I got a bunch of extra rewards, which is great. Somebody bought a gold chest. Actually, we might be able to still see it. Rare. Obviously, not many people buying yet because you don't want to buy until you get in your final kingdom. But somebody bought a gold chest and I got 2,000 VIP points, which was awesome. That's 2,000 gems right out of the gate just from somebody buying a gold chest. Very thankful to that player. Let's continue. I'm just going to keep sending the scouts out because, guys, honestly... You want to get as much fog cleared as possible. I have quite a few level 2 cave chests from medium caves and level 3 cave chests from high caves. It's the, the names are quite weird, but that's the rewards you want to get. You don't want to get low chests, these level 1 cave treasures from low caves, because there's a cap, and I'm not sure what it is. I'm sure somebody out there knows exactly what the mechanics are, but there's a certain amount of chests you can get before Lilith changes anything you get to level one. So if you open up, you know, probably a hundred uh, high level three cave chests, it all of a sudden caps it and everything you get from now on turns into level one. So that's why I'm grabbing all the high and uh, medium cave chests and then afterwards, once I'm in the final kingdom, after I've collected all the high and mediums, I will then collect the lows. 
think these finished at like almost the same time here. Is that a good cave? No, that is not a good cave, so we're going to avoid it. I am just clearing these little ones. I know it's kind of a waste of time, but it's kind of a little bit of OCD slash I've already gone all the long routes, so I can't really utilize long scouts anymore. There's really nothing else I can grab. I could maybe go here, but really that's not going to get me very far. I could probably run in between these and maybe I'll do that tomorrow uh, while I have time to scout before we jump. Now, what else am I doing with my resources? I have been sending my farmers out non-stop. The reason being, I'm trying to get as much out of the merchants in as I can. I can grab this, which is awesome. I'm going to collect more wood and I'm going to send them out right now. I've got an hour and five minutes to collect more wood. Should have no problems doing that. What is Centurion? He's grabbing food, which isn't a bad thing and I'll show you in a second, but let's find some wood quickly here. Right there. There we go. A beautiful full wood. Make sure that it's... It's been selecting Sarka as a primary commander for some reason on occasion. So I'm just making sure that it's actually selecting the commander I want. The reason I want constant primary, she's 27, so that means she's getting the more, the better resources. This is level 27, you want to get there first. After that's level 37 to get 5 out of 5 on superior tools for 25% increased gathering speed. And then after that you can go for level 40 which gets you 3 talents into modified axle for 30% march speed bonus. Which really does help and adds, saves you a lot of time uh, in the long run just because Eventually, you're going to be going five minutes to grab resource tiles. So you really want that march speed. Okay, let's keep sending out the scouts and then we'll keep talking about what I am doing. So the reason I'm still gathering food is the VIP shop. So I've been grateful enough and thankfully, I've gotten enough gems being a low spender to already unlock VIP 6, which is great. Not just for, you know, what you get every day, not just for unlocking the second building queue, which now actually means I can use all three of these and get three hours worth of building speed ups for doing nothing other than unlocking VIP 6. What it also means is that in the VIP shop, and I really, if you can get VIP 6 before Sunday's reset, you really want to utilize your resources in grabbing these blueprint fragment choice chests for elite equipment. This is key. You're going to be struggling to get the blueprints for gear before KVK Season 1. Especially in my instance where I'm doing three field fighting marches, cavalry, infantry, and archers. I have a lot of gear to work. So I am definitely going to be maxing this out before reset. I'm going to try and do all of these. I still have, obviously, these to finish, which is 1.2 million wood. So that might be a little bit hard before we jump. But I'm trying to do this before I jump. So I don't have to think about it so that I can use my resources to upgrade buildings and research and train troops because that is where my resources are going to be going. Okay, what else have we done? We finished all our buildings. I think that's a no brainer. We finished all our research. There is nothing else we can do without upgrading academy to level eight. Obviously can't do that until our CH is level eight. Now, if I have enough warning and I don't think I'm going to, but if I have enough warning to upgrade this before I leave to use my resources that I have here, if I have them. If I can start this and say, I know there's about four or five hours until we jump, I can utilize my helps and the time in this kingdom to upgrade this before jumping. So that when I jump and reach the next kingdom, I only have two hours left, three hours left, even five hours left. I can save speed ups that way. So I'm going to try and do that. I don't know if it's going to work because I don't know the exact time that this kingdom is going to open or if I'll be awake at the time. So I might just be waking up and frantically trying to jump because I've heard and it's been different for other people I've talked to, but I heard there's a cap for how many people can jump into a new kingdom. So whether it's a time of the first four hours or if it's a cap of like 500, I don't know. But I've also heard people say there is no cap. I've been able to jump a couple days after and there's been no issues. But that might just mean that not enough people jump to it. So I am going to be online as quickly as I can for when this next kingdom opens. It's going to be 2826 if anybody wants to join us. Of course, you're welcome to. If you're just starting a jumper now, we're in 2821. You're welcome to join us. We have three spots. There is still time, you guys. It's not too late. 
Um, every minute honestly counts here. Resource wise, I had to spend some yesterday because we had war. Clearly, if you fill your hospital with T1, it still costs resources. So don't have as many as I would have liked, but it's not terrible. Speed ups could be better, but I haven't opened a lot of things yet. So these are just speed ups I've gotten through um, quests that I've opened that don't have resources attached to them from dailies, from uh, the events in here. Rise of Kingdoms obviously gives you quite a few and the Books of the Covenant and research speed ups. So I've gotten all of these speed ups from just regular things you can do, but I have not opened all of my bone necklaces, all of my trage, uh, all of my cave treasures. I haven't opened up my gold keys or my silver keys. So once we get to the next kingdom, I'm gonna open those up pretty much right away as soon as I'm able to record. And we'll see what we can get out of those. And I think we're gonna be looking pretty good the only thing that I'm going to be doing when I get to the next kingdom, and this is what I suggest to everybody, and I continue to do that. Obviously, you want to make sure, make sure research is going at all times. If you are upgrading your academy, use speed ups. Honestly, upgrade it. Wait till you have max helps because that reduces it by about 1% each time you get a help. So make sure that you get max helps before you speed this up. Grab a rune if you can. You're probably not going to be able to right when you get there in a new kingdom you have to wait a few days before guardians spawn but like this is right here you know building speed up just grab it i know it's not a lot but even 25 minute speed ups add up over time but i always speed up this building so that i can make sure research is always going because you don't want this to be building for 12 hours when you could have research going for those 12 hours while building something else for 12 hours so I suggest you try to speed that up. I will be focusing on the main quest. That is 100% what I'll be focusing on. I'm trying to rush to CH16. I believe it's CH16 where you get the blacksmith. It's been a while since I did my free to play jumper account. I believe it's CH16. I want to unlock that as quick as possible so I can get material going. And then that's going to unlock the bundle you can get for Supply Depot where you it's like five bucks to get um, seven days worth of, I think it's 20 advanced choice chests for material. I want to get that. I have a lot of goals for equipment, like I mentioned just previously. So I really want to get that rolling quickly so that I can get gear going because gear is going to be very important, especially for my Archer March. Hopefully the new Archer commanders are good. If not, it might be Herman and Kuzunoki but I'm hoping it's the new Archer Epic Commander and Kusunoki. I think that will be an awesome pair, hopefully. If it's as good as I've read and they jive well together and the talents are decent, then we'll see. Oh man, if it has a defensive talent tree, I'm gonna be so stoked. It would be awesome. I would be really excited about that. But okay, let's send these scouts out again. So that's what I'm gonna focus on. I'm gonna focus on the main quest, I'm gonna make sure that my research is always going. If I'm upgrading this building for a main quest, I'm going to speed it up. Okay, and then besides that, obviously make sure troops are always going. If I'm going to bed and troops are an hour away from me done, I'll use speed ups to get them there so that when I go to bed, I'm going to utilize as much time as I'm sleeping to gain troops. Commanders wise, I am just going to be focusing on leveling up my gathering commanders. I will not be leveling up my PVP commanders anytime early game with experienced homes. I'll be using them with guardians, absolutely. Most likely like someone like Sun Tzu primary with constant secondary or vice versa, depending on if I can get Sun Tzu at three star anytime soon. But that's what I'm gonna be focusing on is leveling my gathering commanders to 37. I wanna get four ready to go. That means I need to unlock another one. Hopefully it's Joan of Arc, but it could be uh, Matilda. Matilda's fantastic. I'd be great if I can get Matilda unlocked and get her working. But yeah, Joan of Arc or Matilda would be awesome. Or Gaius. I don't even have Gaius yet. You know what? It'll probably be Gaius because he's easier to level and easier to get the skills for. So that's probably what it'll end up being. But okay, Gaius is there. We're going to be doing the main quest. We can't get monument rewards, which is awful. I really wish we could, but we can't. It is what it is. That's one of the new mechanics. How it works for the event. 
This one, Glory of Battle. How it actually works when we jump there, I don't know. I'm gonna find out tomorrow. I've heard so many different things from so many different people. I've heard it restarts at zero, so you have to gain 1.5 million power when you get there. I've heard the countdown timer doesn't change, and this is exactly what it looks like, so you have to gain 1.3 million power within however much time you have left, which may be possible, to be honest with you. If you're a decent spender, you could definitely do it. But I've heard multiple different things on this, so I don't know how it's gonna work, but if you check back in like a day or two, I'll have a video on exactly how it works and I'll be able to tell you. Uh, anything else I'm gonna do is, so as soon as I jump, working the main quest, making sure I'm scouting, grabbing only the level two or level three cave chest, which is medium or high, making sure those guys are going out constantly. I wanna get 100% as soon as possible so that I can convert my kingdom maps to five minute speed ups. You should have a lot of these. You're gonna get them from level two, level three, and level one cave treasures. So you definitely want to max out the map, get all those five minute speed ups. It's really gonna help. And then of course, I'm gonna keep burning all my free action points. I haven't let it go max out anytime soon. It's slow enough where if I use all my action points before bed, I wake up and it's not even full yet. So that's pretty easy to do. Anything else? I don't think so. I'm looking forward to rallying Barb Forts with Mina because that's really going to help. I am most likely going to get this right here for 10 bucks. So I'm probably going to be up at the max my cap, which is 50 bucks. I was hoping for 30, but I think we'll be up at 50 by the time I do this and Looser and Scroll. I will be getting Looser and Scroll even though it's almost the end of the season. I think I'll be able to accomplish enough if I burn a few action points in finishing Barb's and do some chaining. If I find the right spot next to a cave somewhere like right where this flag is, it would be perfect for spawning barbs in clusters and using AoE. I'll finish that Looser and Scroll quest in no time. I think it's worth it. Even if you don't get to level 50 on Looser and Scroll, if you get to like level 30 or 40, I still think it's worth the five bucks. Like it's five bucks. Uh, okay, anything else? Man, fog guys are going real fast right now. Probably because I'm doing these small little chunks and that one didn't even need it. So I wish they would just get rid of that where you don't even have to waste time clicking it. But anyways, okay, is there anything else I should go over? I don't think so. I think that's it guys, follow the main quest. I would, oh, for research, you know what? Let's just touch research before we go. I'm not going to be working hard on military technology. Obviously I want to follow the main quest. So I'm gonna have to do all uh, T2 troops and same with T3. I'm gonna have to unlock those over time to follow the main quest. That's a given, but I am 100% going for again. And I did this on my free to play account, which is why I was able to be ahead of people who spent money on the game is maxing out engineering and mathematics as soon as possible. I will always make sure those are up at the highest level they can be until they're level 10. And I say that because obviously your academy has to be up at a certain level to get it to 10 anyways. So I might be struggling with resources or speed ups in order to get to level 10, but I'm going to push for that as soon as possible. It helps in the long term. The goal here is KVK, not field fighting and hunting farm marches in zone one for fun. I'm not gonna be doing that. Obviously there might be some PVP. You don't know what we're going to face when we get to the next kingdom. There could be a bigger jumper group that doesn't like us and who knows what happens, right? It's a guessing game on who's going to actually show up and what's going to happen. But that's what I'm going to be doing for research and stuff. Follow along. I'll have more videos on exactly how I do it and what I'm doing in the progress of this account. I'm going to have other videos on my other account soon. I have Marauder starting on my free to play account in 2563 coming up really soon. I have a live stream time set already on my discord. Might as well check it out while I'm right here because I forget the exact time. So on Saturday at reset, I'm going to be starting Marauders. I'm going to do lucky stalls and I'm going to be doing some commander upgrades on my free to play account, 2563. I've got a season of conquest on my alternate account in 2396 coming up soon. And then my main account in 1937 is still quite a few weeks away from war because we're going to skip the max times for heroic anthem. but. That's good, I need the resources. I still have quite a few to go before I'm really ready for war and I've got my farms going full tilt. I also have a farm working for 
right here it's really low but i'm going to be jumping it with us hopefully there's a spot for it i'll jump with it or i'll make a whole new farm but i will have a farm for this account which is really going to help because my free to play account still does not have a farm and i don't plan on making a farm anytime soon but there you go guys that is an update on this account and what i'm going to be doing when we jump uh please do hit the like and subscribe until next time have a good one i hope you guys catch up and and keep up with this new jumper account it's a lot of fun Feel free to join us in 2826. That's where we're going. You don't need a jumper account to do it. Or if you have a jumper account, join us. Thanks a lot, guys. Until next time. Later.